I'm Ben Hagen, I'm a principal sales engineer with Datasift. Coming to Datasift was a bit of a, a change in mindset. We actually partnered with Twitter back when they were about 20 people, and we actually uh, installed the retweet button on about uh, 500 million different websites, and we traded the intellectual property for the retweet button for full access to the Twitter firehose. And Datasift was born. Here, this is the world we live in. Every piece of information we deal with is completely unstructured. We are processing about 83,000 items a second just on Facebook. That's 7.5 billion items a day. The magic, as it were, uh, behind Datasift is really this ability to get from the unstructured chaos of human information across all of these different formats into something that actually becomes queryable via a language. Noise reduction, spam filtering, and then really figuring out, frankly, the misspellings and the synonyms for the types of things you're looking for are incredibly challenging. And our typical turnaround time on doing all of that is under 300 milliseconds. Facebook is the first data source to be put onto Pylon. It's 1.5 billion people um, sharing and engaging in content. The broad-based applicability of this data is just uh, unbelievable. Your post, share, comment, like is tagged and scored at the individual post level. So this is pretty powerful stuff. And as a marketer um, or as HBO, I want to see who my audience is, who's engaging. I want to see where they're located, how old are they, males versus females. Taking the HBO analogy further, you think about what would be a better measurement of their success than this type of data. The volumes of data are so huge, um, the majorities are accurate. If you think about the value a lot of marketers and others that use this information is, is that real-time interaction. There cannot be a big delay between when we receive a piece of information and deliver that information. We really are um, what I'll call the data of now. This is where the, the NLP that Facebook are doing really comes in. So they're doing this fine-grained topic analysis and category analysis for us um, at scale across the entire data set um, and I'll show you how we use it it's it's super powerful what we're showing is up the top we've got each of the brands we've got the Ford BMW and Honda so you can start saying for this brand these are the URLs that are trending and sharing and, and changing and, and how do they compare and we can do that with domains and um, of course we can go to age gender breakdowns for somebody sharing that domain so you can see some interesting stuff like purchase price within Ford is being talked about a lot, whereas in Honda we can see specification, practicality is, is, is being talked about a lot. Then you can go down into the demographics of each of those features. You can see in Indiana, you know, practicality is, is being talked about a lot, whereas, you know, Arizona, it's all about performance. Again, we're making this accessible to the everyman who can, you know, doesn't want to build this and shouldn't have to go through months of, of computation to do it. And there's a huge amount of heavy lifting being done behind the scenes. 